Hi, I'm Paris, and I have a dog named Pierre. Now, that may tell you all you need to know about how spoiled he is, but when we're out in the car together, I have some definite rules that he has to follow. I think he may have a few that I have to follow, too. But for safety, he has to basically stay out of my lap and stay off of the floor so he doesn't get down underneath my feet and around the pedals. Now, it's a constant struggle between Pierre and myself to um, get him to follow those rules. And also, he isn't supposed to jump into the back of the minivan and look for candy that the kids have dropped or try to climb out the window, all of those other things. It would sure be nice if there were an easy way that were comfortable for him and convenient for me to just keep him in the passenger seat. Well, a company recently contacted me and told me they have exactly what I need. It's called the Pet Seat Belt, and they sent me a set to try. The company is Pets BFF, and they sent me this two-pack set. It has um, two combination leash seat belts in here. Thank you very much. If you'd like to find out more about these, they go for just under $20, and I have a link to them down below this video. I was thinking, now, what are the rules that my dog has for me while we're driving? And I think it includes um, speaking to him regularly in a soothing voice petting him anytime he looks even vaguely in my direction, and having the radio tuned to a classical music station. I know my role. Okay, so this is the part you would hook onto a collar or harness. Pretty standard. It's nice bright red, and I think there's a reflective part on these too, so if you're using it as a leash after driving somewhere, you can be seen. Okay, that's gotta be the long one. And this is the short one. Now, what, what makes this really clever is you've got one side that attaches to the dog. The other side, this is supposed to plug right into the seatbelt latch. So then the dog can only move this distance from the seatbelt latch. And this, the length of this itself, is also adjustable. The longer leash that looks pretty much like a traditional leash has got this attachment. And on this side, in addition to this handle with padding, it's got a little Velcroed pocket you can put bags in here, I think. And this is where the seat belt attachment is on this leash. This one is also length adjustable. On this very short instruction page where it shows you how to attach and release the leash from the seat belt clasp, they do mention down here, this is not intended to keep your dog in like a doggy car seat and provide safety to the dog in the event of an accident. What this is intended to do is to reduce the chance of there being an accident because your dog has distracted you and caused you to lose control of the car. I'm usually the one that takes Pierre places, so that means he rides in the minivan with me. Now it's a bit much for me to try to film and take care of him and drive the car at the same time, so I think I'm probably gonna have to resort to using my phone camera, drop it in a cup holder, and try to record. I'll show you what goes on usually with us, and then I will bring in both the long and short leash of the pet seat belt and give these a try with Pierre. Good luck with this working. Taping the camera to the dashboard. Here we go. Hop up. Come on. Up on the seat. Okay. Stay. Hey, hey. Stay. 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 Okay. Good dog. All right. Where do you want to go? What's your pleasure, huh? Okay. Let's start up the car. Now. No, you can't come over here. Hey, remember our rules? I'll put on the music for you. <laughs> you gotta do your part. Okay, so Pierre will kind of stay in his seat here, but then after a while he gets bored, he wants to jump through this gap into the back of the minivan. He wants to get down on the floor, get under my feet. The other little trick he's learned, we'll put the window down a little for him, but he's found when he steps up on the handle that he can actually put the window the rest of the way down himself. Yes. I know that you know it. So I actually put the window down a little, and then I have to put on the child lock. Child slash dog lock. Okay, so this is how we usually travel. Pierre, are you ready to go? Oh, that's a lot of dog dust. Okay, come down so I can look and back out of the driveway. And the camera is bouncing off the dashboard. Yeah, go be entertained by something out the window. Go take a look. What's going on over there? See, now if you would just sit there and stay there, that would make things so easy. 
Okay, but once we get moving, oh boy, camera's rolling. No, you can't come over here. You gotta stay over there. No, 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 no. Gotta stay over there. Gotta stay over there. And don't think about getting down on the floor. All right, yeah, look at stuff out the window. Or I'll pet you. If I keep petting you, will you stay lying down? Your butt's saying no. It has a mind of its own. Yeah, so at first, Pierre wants a lot of petting. And then he gets distracted. Here we go. Smell all you want, but don't try to squeeze through the opening. We're gonna swap things out here. Give this new seatbelt thing a try. Look, they have a sign for pet crossing there. Isn't that cute? Yeah, we're not at our destination. Just hold on here. Okay, no, no. Now see the other thing he'll do, if I turn if I turn the car off, he will dive down beneath my feet to get out of my door before I can. It, it, I, I guaranteed, he's trying to get out the window there. Here, I'll, I'll show you. Turn off. There he goes, before I can stop him, he is now at my window. Pierre, you're not getting out, I'm sorry, that was for display purposes only. Okay, let's go with the short one here. Pierre, I'm gonna swap this out, okay? I know you're confused, this isn't what we usually do. Oh, I, and over, okay. Now, we got this on. Let me show everybody here. We got this. Down to the collar, okay. Oh, I had some more dust to the air. All right, now let's see if this will actually plug into the seatbelt thing. Hey, it does, good. Now, how far can you go with that? Go look out the window, look out the window, the window. Look, birds, squirrels. Let's see how far you can get. Okay. Boy, if you ever figure out how to push the seatbelt, Release latch, I'm really in trouble. You'll be driving soon. Maybe before Roxana? Yeah? Okay, shall we continue? Nope, 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 nope. Well, you can still jump. I'm gonna need to make this shorter. Here, I'm gonna have to shorten it up because you can still get down there to my feet. No, come on. All right, now how short can I get this? Oh, the dust of humanity. Dog manatee. You're a dog manatee. I think you're an endangered and protected species. Is that as short as it'll go? I think that's it. Stay there. Now he's hit the limit of the leash there. So he can't get his head out the window with it that short. You minding that too much, Pierre? Okay. Now obviously he could still get in my lap because the seat belt latches on the inside of the seat. So I'm gonna pull over here and then see if he can still get down under my feet with it at its shortest. Okay. See what you can do. I'm gonna let you. He can get under one leg. He can get under one leg. He can't get all the way across. And he's severely irritated by that fact. You're irritated, aren't you? Say I'm irritated. Show me your ears that you're irritated. Oh, he's pulling. Yeah, but he's realizing he can only get underneath of one leg and he can't quite make it to the pedals. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm sure you don't like that so much, but I really like that. I really like that. Well, this is pleasant, isn't it? Isn't it pleasant, Pierre? Say it's pleasant. At least kind of holds you in place on the curves and everything too, doesn't it? That's nice. Okay, shall we try out the longer leash just to see for people who have large dogs and they wouldn't want to have them not even be able to sit up straight. Oh, there we go again. He's stuck under one leg. You don't like that at all. No, sir. I'm not going to try to shorten this up. I'm just going to see how it would do, for example, to keep a, if your dog is pretty much well behaved, but you're worried about them maybe jumping out of the car, how that would work at this length. All right, Pierre. And that comes out easily enough. Pierre, we're not getting out here. Go go look out the window. See the window? Oh, look, bugs, birds, people. Okay, well, I'll drive a little and then we'll see how it works. Okay, go look out the window. See what you can smell out there. You can reach to the top now. Oh my gosh, I'm not wearing my seatbelt. 
So focused on the pet seatbelt, forgot the person seatbelt. You seem a lot more content without having that shorter leash on. But personally, I like that one better. We're gonna have to have a discussion about this when we get home, you know. All right, there goes Pierre under my feet. Now, he can get to the window, but the strap here is, hold, is just snug, so I know he can't actually jump out the door, even if I open the door, and that's an improvement. And so once you get out of the car, wherever you're taking your dog, you have a nice five-foot leash, which is length adjustable. It's got a good grip on the inside here that makes it comfortable, and this little um, storage Velcro baggie where you can put the little poop bags. <laughs> Are you telling me you'd like to go for a longer walk? I'm thinking that's what you're indicating. I see so many places I must go. All right, let's go for a walk. Yes, you had fun with the pet seatbelt. Oh, he strongly endorses it. Um, actually, the shorter one he didn't care for that much because it didn't let him get his head up and uh, to smell out the window and he couldn't get completely under my legs, which is why I like the shorter pet seatbelt. I think we are gonna keep this one in the car just in case we have to, yes, I know, just in case we have to go somewhere suddenly. The longer one, I think we'll probably use as a leash. And um, maybe we can get this to the right length where you'd be able to still reach out the window with your nose. What do you think? Yes? Okay. So even though this isn't a tether and a vest that you attach to the seat to keep your dog safe in the event of an accident, I still think it's very worthwhile because it can help to keep your dog under control. Yes, you. Um, in the car when you're taking your dog places and so it helps to prevent the chance of there being an accident and that's worth a lot isn't that Pierre yes Pierre what do you think yeah you agree he also says you can keep checking back for future videos or you can click that subscribe button down below you'll get notified when our videos go up and Pierre and I may see you on the next review shopping is easy when you know what to buy at Epic Review guys a gift of a try what does the fox buy? Nobody knows, but before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.